Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, November 1st. Been busy this morning. I uh, got a new day in the life video up to my channel. I've been contemplating what to list today. I know I'm gonna start with some of those uh, Christmas boxes, calling them junk drawer boxes just to get that keyword in there. Um, I got a few more of those I got to list. But I also have some other Christmas goodies that I discovered um, at my mom's place when we cleaned out some boxes uh, that have been stored there for over a year. Let me show you what some of the stuff we found. We found this entire Christmas village. This is Snowman's Cottage here. This is the gingerbread station. This one is the candy shop. This one looks to be some sort of church. And this is Santa's Cottage. Here the festivities continue. This is a cookie jar. As you can see, the top comes off. And uh, you can put your cookies in there. This is a little frosted Christmas tree. It looks to be some sort of dessert to me, but it lights up. Let so me I've got it up here on the counter next to the coffee pot and the banana bread. Let me show you what it does. There it is without the lights. And then you plug it in over here. You click this button. Bingo bango, we got lights. Look at that. All lit up just like a happy little Christmas tree. You got that light on the top and all the different colors. Again, it has that kind of frosted cake look on it. I think it's pretty cool. So that's one of the nicer items we found. I think this must have been something for sale on QVC. Most of the stuff was. There was this. Uh, it, to me, it looks kind of like an urn, but uh, it has a top that opens. Maybe it's a cookie jar. I don't know. It had um, this thing in with it that is supposed to light up. But uh, I put some batteries in it and couldn't seem to get it to work. So maybe that is not operational or maybe I just did it wrong. Who knows? But uh, it's pretty cool on its own, I guess. There were also a couple Christmas pillows, some nice red pillows. Let me give you guys they a look. Are. These are kind of just perfect for the sofa, um, that size. Say Merry Christmas on one side with a reindeer on the other. Let me show you the other the side. The other side is just that plain beige color kind of to contrast the red. And we did find a lot of ornaments. A lot of them I put into the um, the Christmas boxes I'm creating, but this was more of high-end ornaments that we found. Let me Here's show you. a look at them. Two rows of nice ornaments. It's the Bradford Editions, where memories begin. So the first row is this uh, top layer. It has um, kind of a husky, I think, dog on it. Ooh, almost dropped that one. Uh, as you can see, there it is. A little husky design on there. And I think that there's quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of that design. These are a little bit different, but again, same dog design on it. Um, they got a little glow on them there, but uh, you can see they have that nice dog design. There's a couple over here. This one is a little different, a little horseshoe. It might have been just uh, added in there as an extra. And then there's these over here. Here's a look at these. These have kind of a nautical design, I think. Um, here's one that's out of the package. Let me give you a look. Looks to have some sort of eagle, eagle on there. And then on top, they have the eagle accent as well. Kind of a cone sh shell shaped with the opening in the middle there. So they're pretty intricate. Let me take another one of these out of the package. This is the other type that is in there, kind of a nautical theme. Has kind of the waves flowing with a dolphin on top of there. Get that to focus in for you. Um, very interesting, intricate ornaments. So that's what we got. So I just counted them up uh, and there was 23 of them, uh, probably originally 24, maybe they lost one, but uh, yeah. So we got 23 here in the bottom shelf and I think I counted 11 here in the top shelf. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus the seahorse, so a dozen there. 
So that's just the, some of the stuff that I'm going to be listing this holiday season. I'm going to get busy putting that stuff online, getting it up for the people uh, so they can get it in time for Christmas. Let me show you what I got going on today in the photo station. Today I'm working on these. These are more Christmas boxes filled with goodies. Um, I'm going to get those on. Start them at $9.99 with a $19.99 buy it now. They'll be shipped in those USPS large flat rate boxes. Um, over here, this was kind of an angel of some sort that was also in the decorations. We had her own little box, so we're going to get her listed and uh, online. Very intricate. We'll have to do some research and see how much these go for, but it uh, should be a good sale. This was another fun little uh, discovery. This is a little Santa and sleigh that goes around the top of the tree. It's a tree topper. Um, so you have all that kind of open it up here so you could see it and so I could get it photographed. You put that tree topper on the top of the tree and Santa has a little wire that he goes all the way around the tree. So there's the little Santa and reindeer that will go around the tree. You're reading that Spanish side. Here's the English side. Animated tree topper. Santa's sleigh circles the tree. Illuminated, illuminated star topper secures to the tree pole. AC adapter included. So you get all of that. For one low price. Pretty cool little idea that you can put around the tree if you're interested in that sort of thing. Here's a look at it um, as it should appear once you get it all set up. It has that wire that he kind of travels around the tree as you can see all the way around the tree like that. So uh, cool idea in theory. You get him on there and see if he works we will find out. So the item is brand new in the package so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work but um, like I said it's been uh, in my mom's garage for over a year so hopefully it's all working order um, but uh, yeah that's uh, what I have to list today um, of course I woke up and did have a few orders I think five total let me take a look and give you guys a look at what's sold there you see it overnight the big store had five orders for hundred and thirty six dollars and seventeen cents this item sold for fifteen dollars and six cents it's a NFL forever collectible Seattle Seahawks double-sided blue and green scarf second item sold for twenty dollars and thirty seven cents uh, it was listed just recently on the 28th of November it's a chainsaw carved wood beagle brown black and white dog with a bandana i think that dog was uh carved by dennis sullivan so if you're familiar that's the artist who makes those uh there's a couple of them online uh, but there was only one beagle like that third item that sold was a good sale sold for 64 dollars 94 it's a pair of rooks men's levitate gts5 blue running shoes keyword sneakers Fourth item that sold, sold for $24.14. It's a INTL details, international details, brown jacket coat, button-up solid woman size large, keyword cotton. The fifth and final item that sold overnight, sold for $8.66. It's a size small Derek Hart long sleeve black polo sweater top, collared, one quarter zipper. So as you can see, the prices are all over the board from $64 for a pair of sneakers down to $8 for a little sweater. Um, yeah, I'd like to get that price point up a little higher, but i got to get that uh, low price stuff moving. So some of it's a little bit of that bread and butter. It's already listed in the store. You might as well sell it and move it on to the customer. Um, but I'm focusing on putting up a little bit more high priced items. Trying to get that uh, sale price up a little bit more as we head into the holidays. One of the other things I did the first of the month here is I put a listing up on my Facebook page with all of the um, videos from the last month. So all of November's videos are up here. If you scroll past the message here on down, you see all of them are just right there with links to all the videos. So hopefully that gives me a little boost in uh, views. So I counted them up. It looks like I posted 29 videos in the month of November. And uh, numbers are up. Let me see. I wrote down here they went from... I started the channel with 203 subscribers on November 1st and 850 hours of watch time. And De December 1st we have 212 subscribers and 886 hours of watch time. So we went up uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 36 hours of watch time. Yep, not too bad. Nine new subscribers. So 
we're steadily climbing, making it, making our way to that uh, 1,000 subscribers we need and 4,000 hours that we're after. Um, it's going to take a while longer, but I want to thank everybody for watching. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those five orders from inventory, get some shipping on them, and then begin uh, taking photos of the Christmas boxes that I have set out here in the photo station. I'm going to do a little work, and I'll tune in, tune in later and let you know how it's going. I've got a nice batch of holiday listings up in my store. i got a couple more listings here that I just photographed. Let me show them to you. There's a lot of fishing gear, some hooks, some weights, and that sort of thing. I'm going to put it all together in one little lot here for everybody. And right here we have some Lennox. i got a little box here. I've got a whole bunch of Lennox that I got of a storage unit that I've yet to list. This one's kind of interesting. Let me open it up and show it to you guys. As you can see there, it's a little Easter bunny, but it's actually a puppy um, with Easter ears on it. Um, let me take it out of the package so you can see it a little better. Here's a better look at it. Uh, if I can get it to focus all right. It's a little puppy in a fountain, it looks like, with Easter ears around its head. Pretty cute little... Uh, decoration here. So I know Lennox usually sells pretty good. I'll have to do a little research to see what this one is going for. They're calling it the Easter Puppy, so uh, I'll look up the number and do the research and check out the comp, see what it's going for online and price accordingly. Here's the label. It looks like it's uh, SKU number 841563. They call it the Easter Puppy, like I said. So I'm going to look that up and uh, get it listed. If you're wondering how much they go for, here's the one I just listed. Uh, this one sold for $37.95. Here's mine. I listed mine for $34.99, a little bit less than uh, the sold listing. Um, as you can see, you got photos of front, back, and boxes and everything. So uh, hopefully that'll be a quick sale. Some of this Linux sells for big money. I know there's a lot of collectors that uh, buy it up so hopefully they want this little Easter puppy. I'm gonna switch gears from the Lennox to the Christmas boxes and try to get some of these Christmas boxes uh, photographed and posted tonight. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little festive look at the Christmas boxes. I got four more photographed ready to be listed into the store. I'm having a bad feeling about these boxes that they might be a bust and I might not get any bids, but uh, time will tell. Uh, they're up there now and I've got a few more to go. So I'm just going to keep listing them. I probably should have listed uh, stuff individually, but um, I'm going to try not to second guess my decision and just... Uh, Get them up there, I can always lower the price if they don't sell the first time around and uh, get rid of them uh, before Christmas. So I'll get them up there and see how they do. All right, I got those last four Christmas uh, boxes listed. I got a few more to do um, this weekend. 
Um, tomorrow I have a photo gig in Snohomish. I'm going to take some Christmas photos for the Snohomish Running Company. Um, so that should be a good time. Um, but uh, I'm going to be working on these Christmas boxes. Hopefully get them all knocked out uh, this weekend and be done with it. Also have some nicer um, Christmas stuff. Well, you guys saw earlier in the video that I'm going to be working on listing those uh, snow houses and all that glassware, those trees. Try to get some of that stuff up as well and keep working through the Christmas stuff and probably stop by my mom's place and see what else there is in the garage. There might be some more Christmas goodies. So focusing on Christmas uh, while it's this time of year, that's probably a good idea. Um, you can go on my site and check things out, see the new listings that go up if you're interested. Um, I thank you. Before I log off, I want to show you guys what sold out of the small store. We had four sales. I forgot to check that today. Um, so here's what sold. Four sales, $71.70. Let's see what sold. For $21.37, I sold this lot of two men's pocket dress shirts. One large, 16.5 by 34.35. Blue and gray Stafford keyword men's. So it looks like a couple, a duo of uh, Stafford dress shirts. I do that sometimes. I'll pair up a pair of shirt, a pair of shirts if I have the same brand or I want to. Um, I get them at the right price point. Um, you can make some decent money doing it that way. You get a little bit more for uh, the sale price usually. Second item that sold sold for sixteen dollars and sixty nine cents. Uh, just listed this November eighteenth. It's a Warren Miller blue and white and red. Adult ski hat beanie cap. One size fits all acrylic. Measures 10 by 8. Third item that sold. Sold for $21.64. It's an extra large Ben Sherman blue pocket polo shirt. Cotton. Keyword men's. And the fourth and final sale out of the small store today was this. Um, sold for $12 even. It's a medium champion 9 gray polyester men's crew nut power core t-shirt so four sales for seventy one dollars and seventy cents not a bad little day out of the small store uh, i'm gonna thank everybody for watching um we'll catch you on the next one bye <laughs>